everybody, it's Twyla's mom, Lisa, and today is, let me look at the date, Friday, uh, April 14th, yes, <laughs> two more days till Easter, yeah, oh, I hope you guys are having a great uh, Friday, um, I'm here to show you the things I got from Dollar Tree this week, um, don't have really any new things but oh well we got to show our Dollar Tree haul now I had today off work because of Easter we don't get since Easter falls on the Sunday they give us Good Friday off so um, I'll still have to go to work on Sunday night but that's okay we really don't do a whole lot for Easter um, my older sons all have their things with their kids and stuff and 4th of July is the next big holiday that we'll spend with all the kids and the grandkids and everything like that um, they come down here because um, my oldest son he lives in the city and they can't shoot off fireworks in the city so they all come down here and we just have like a family reunion thing <laughs> So, let's get started on this Dollar Tree haul, okay? Uh, got some double-sided tape. I always pick this up when I'm starting to run low. And I, I don't have a problem with it. It's by the Jot brand. Don't have a problem with it at all. A few weeks back, I had picked up some of these uh, little boy socks for my older three grandchildren. They finally got a smaller size for my youngest grandson. So, it comes in a three pack, and I got him the sports themed ones. I thought these were pretty cute. Um, he is going to be three on the 4th of July, so these should do just fine. I'm gonna put them in his Christmas stuff. And then I picked up another one of the scouring pads with the handle. Love these. I think I like them the most because it does have a handle and you can really get some scrubbing action in there. So ever so often I'm going to pick one up and just keep it put away for when I need a new one. I'll have it right there in handy. Now my daughter is going to be going to the prom. Well she doesn't have very long fingernails. If she doesn't bite them she breaks them off at work and yeah. But she thought about painting her nails, but she's got short, short fingernails. So I talked her into trying these. Um, I think she's going to try them out on Sunday, see how they work. And um, if she likes them, then we'll pick her up some more. They're just the French manicure ones. And we're just going to use the cheap. Um, I have some of the cheap uh, Dollar Tree glue. We're just going to try that out for for these, you know, and see if she likes them. I don't think she'll care for them because she's never had long fingernails. Never. <laughs> I picked up two sand buckets, an orange one and a blue one. I did not pick these up for sand buckets. I'm going to plant some flowers in these. Yes, I'm going to garden. I'm thinking I might put some marigolds in these. Um, I don't garden. I don't. I do not garden. But, I don't know. I guess the spring bug has hit me this year. I don't plant flowers. I don't mow the yard. I don't do that stuff. My husband takes care of the yard. He trims the shrubs and weed eats. And that's all we do. We are not outdoor people. We... I don't like the outdoors. <laughs> I know. If I could stay inside all the time, I would. <laughs> but I thought these would be, you know, like on the front porch. Just two little buckets of marigolds are easy peasy to take care of. You know, they can go for days without getting watered and things like that. So I'm going to try that out. Um, my daughter, she's the one who gardens. She has lots of potted plants in her room, and she also plants um, 
in pots. She uh, will do uh, tomatoes and she does flowers, things like that. So she's the gardener in the family and she's got a little section that she uses outside for her gardening stuff. Um, then I really like peeps, but I saw these at the Dollar Tree and they are the sour marshmallow. And they, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of sour, but if they're good, I'll try them, yeah. I'll try them. I might keep the package to show a May empties. I haven't done a, didn't do a March or an April empties, but I may do a May empties just to, you know, show you. Then my daughter wanted some gladiolas, so I picked her up some of these. They're just the bulbs. And she planted some of these last summer, and I think it was in she planted them in the spring, and I want to say it was the end of July, first part of August, that they came up, and they were very pretty. So, picked her up those. I um, picked up a couple of these soap savers for on the bathroom sink, because um, Twyla uses uh, the acne-free bar soap, and... Uh, yeah, she needed a new one of these. Hers was getting kind of gross. <laughs> then I picked up two of these basket type organizing. They're kind of flexible. These are going to go in my bathrooms. One upstairs and one downstairs. And they are hard to get apart. Ugh, they are really hard to get apart. I, I had to really fight to just get two of them out at the store. But I'm going to use these to put my cleaning supplies in. You know, my Windex, my toilet bowl, my cleaner, my sink, and my tile cleaner and stuff like that. And that's what these are for. Got some Wonder hamburger buns. I got more of the Tasty Cakes. These are peanut butter Tasty Cakes. They are good. Love them, love them. Um, got Twyla some Crest 3D White, um, and it does have fluoride, but I have spent a lot of money on that girl's teeth, and I noticed that she's starting to starting to get a little dingy looking, so I picked her up some white whitening. Hopefully that will work. Um, then, because I really don't want to take her to get her teeth cleaned. I think cleaning your teeth sometimes can be bad. I don't know. I don't know that for sure. I know a lot of people, when they get their teeth clean, their teeth get very sensitive. And then the the few times I got my teeth cleaned, it within two years, I had um, cavities. Yeah, it was almost like it just took the enamel off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's not due for a cleaning anyway. I needed a stylus. For my phone because I cannot get those buttons poked. Ugh, drives me nuts. Picked up two packages of batteries, the triple A's and some double A's. So put those in the battery stockpile. Now they had this fasten fastener strip in the crafting aisle and it's the Velcro that you can use I'm not sure how you attach this. If you glue it or if it's sticky. I think you might have to glue it or sew it. It doesn't look like it's ad adhesive. So, but that's okay. I have my glue done. I can use that. Uh, let's see. What else do I got here? I got a couple of these storage containers. Um, the six pack. I don't need them at this moment, but you grab these when you see them because they always run out. And uh, sometimes you just need these little containers to hold sequins, um, beads, things like that. So, yeah, I picked up two packages just to put away for when I do need them. 
I got an ink pen in there. What the heck? That was it. Yeah. Probably was in the car and Twyla put it in there. I got a drawer organizer. This is um, going to be organizing my um, battery drawer. Yes. So I needed a square one to do that. I've got a long one, two long ones, and I want to put one square one in there. So got to do that. And then I saw, oh, also got some of the carabiner clips. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, mine is getting kind of yunky, and I use it to clip my car keys on my purse handle. And uh, I've noticed I've had to, you know, push that little clippy in. You know just yeah and I'm afraid I'll forget to do that one time and I'll lose my keys then okay like I was saying these I have not seen and we're gonna try them out but I got my mom for her Mother's Day it's a, a round candle holder it holds four votive candles and it's made out of metal and you, it's got a little hook that you can unhook it you open it up and put it around your umbrella stand on your picnic table and she is an outdoor person she's out on her patio all the time and I got her that it holds four votive candles and I found these to put in it they are the LED glass candle and they've got sand and water that's what they look like inside and we're going to try these out, maybe, if they work. Oh, you got to take that thing. Okay. Maybe we won't try them out. I don't want to. Oh, there we go. See? Look at that. Isn't that kind of pretty? Isn't that kind of pretty? But let me turn it off. I got these to put out there on her thing. And I got her four of them. And they kind of have a blue tint to them. But I got, got her four of those. I haven't seen anyone haul those. And I'm thinking the metal is like a gel or something. I'm not sure. But I don't want to. They've got plastic wrap around them. I don't want to open them because they're for her Mother's Day. Um, needed some more shave cream, and I just picked up a Barbasol. I don't care what kind to get. My husband, on the other end, has to have a gel, but I don't care. Got some of the onions. These, I think, taste better than Funyuns. Yes, I really think they do. Now, I'm trying to redo my kitchen. Instead of a strawberry theme, I am going to switch it to coffee. Yeah, so I've been picking up a few things here and there. Coffee signs, um, little plaques that have to do with coffee, things like that. Um, so I picked up two of the espresso with the coffee cup. Pot holders, you get a pack of two. I picked up the uh, scrubber dish cloths, and it's got the same design. It's this one right here. See right here? I picked up this um, tea towel. Well, they call it the kitchen towel. But I picked up this one. And I picked up this one. Then for my stove, I picked up the burner covers with the different types of coffees on it. picked up two packages because this only comes a package of two. Really? I don't remember the last time I saw a stove with only two burners. I, But I guess it would cost more than a dollar if uh, they made it for a piece. But yeah. <laughs> so I had to pick up two packages to cover, you know, all four burners. Then I use these for the back of my stove because I don't have a backsplash on the back. I would love to, but I don't have one. But I thought these colors would go really well with the coffee theme. 
they're just the reds, the blacks, and here's some of the brown um, in a brick colored. They had the placemats, so I picked up four for the table, one for each spot on the table, and one to go under my coffee pot. And here they are. And these are so nice and thick. They are really, and they're very pliable and everything. You know, some placemats you can put in the dishwasher. These, I would not suggest it. But, um, yeah, I picked up five of those. One to go under my coffee pot and one for each place setting at the table. Okay, everybody, that is it for my Dollar Tree haul this week. Like I said, nothing new or exciting other than these candles. I, I haven't seen anyone haul these. They're just LED glass candles. They've got seashells sea and sand. And I'm thinking this blue stuff is like that jelly stuff. And when you, it's got the bottom where you can turn it on and off. So, yeah. It says 120 total hours. <laughs> but anyway, that is what I got at Dollar Tree. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to be coming back with a Dollar General, a um, Walmart haul, and so, so a few things I found at my local thrift store. Now, I didn't do food this week. I still, yeah, I just, just didn't really feel like it, and I'm sorry. Maybe next week uh, I'll be back into doing the way we used to do it and everything. I did go to Aldi's, but I just put everything away. Um, still trying to get get back into things. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get off of here, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye.